Welcome to Thunderpunk Radio. I am here with Pete from Midwest Industries. So I'm a big fan of the AK. I was actually issued as a specialist, young E4 in Iraq. I was issued a Russian milled AK for weapon familiarization no in 2004. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So I had That's to like awesome. train up my whole platoon on it. So one of the reasons I want to talk to Midwest Industries, I'm going to be outfitting my AK soon. AK is a great ranch rifle. It's a really good, just uh, fun rifle to have. It's also a good personal defense rifle. And they make super high quality stuff, but they don't just make super high quality stuff. They make American made stuff and they make stuff made in Wisconsin. It's a yep. Wisconsin company. So yep. tell me about Midwest Industries. Sure. So Waukesha, Wisconsin, uh, it's our 20th year this year, actually. Congrats. So, awesome. Yeah, thanks. 20 years of making gun parts. Uh, started with what we call literally the O1. So it's kind of cool that we started like that. And that was a, a mount for ARs. Okay. And we've progressed through so many different weapon platforms we're a company of shooters mm -hmm. uh and we're a machine shop so it's kind of fun to have our own engineering team be able to design it make it shoot it like work our way through it not not outsource all that kind of stuff that's and, awesome uh, and really get to go use stuff we have done ak stuff for a while okay uh this is our latest generation all right for 2023 and we're really excited about it so this is our alpha series okay uh, there's two different lengths of handguard. This is our longer one. It's mm -hmm. got a heat shield in it, which is kind of a first of its kind. You don't see heat shields with no, AKs very no. often. You got to wear your gloves if, you, if you're firing a few more rounds than just a couple. Yeah, exactly. And then from there, we've got uh, this one happens to go into our dust cover. So I'll show you the other one in a second. But this yep. is our rail dust cover. It's got struts on the side here, along with steel struts that are inside you don't see. Comes down on our own designed button that allows it to lock in. So there's basically no play. The return to zero is fantastic. You can open it up, do maintenance, cleaning, all that kind of stuff. Pulls it back up, and you're good to go. And you said it, you it comes with a, uh, you send a button as it well. It comes yep. with a button. Gotcha. Got it. Yep. Geometry is designed to work with the inside of our cover. Cool. So, yep. Uh, from there, we'll go back to the Alpha stocks. So this is the last part of our Alpha series on this gun. This stock is a aluminum stock, aluminum. A rubber butt pad on the back and a plastic cheek piece because, well, in Wisconsin, it's really cold and sometimes plastic is better than metal on your face. I was the only one without a jacket at range day. And everybody's like, aren't you cold? I'm like, I'm from Wisconsin. From Wisconsin. They're it's like, fun. oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> it folds on our steel knuckle. Okay. And it's actually able to be set up so it can fold either direction depending on what works for you because the stock does attach with 1913. Okay. So it does fit tons of other weapons besides AKs. Awesome. We're just dropping More versatility. With AK. Yep. Um, it has, obviously, you can see the knobs for adjustment of being able to change your cheek height riser. You can also adjust the butt pad up and down. Which is important just because how you're mounting your, like... Different optics, yeah, sit at different and heights. Especially with the AK, it's, it's, you need such low profile if you're using a traditional style. Right, absolutely. And then it also does have a steel button that allows you to adjust it into six oh, different cool. positions in and out, too. So it gets your length of pull awesome. to work for you. So, from there... You got QD mounts for a sling, or... QD here and here. Awesome. And then again, on the other side, there's QD over here. This one would go to the other side if you set it up that way. Gotcha. So, yep. Really kind of a, a cool system. As I mentioned, we've got a shorter version. I've okay. got that on a gun behind me here. I'm just going to swap it out if that works. So standard length. I should mention this uses standard handguard like um, retention. Okay. So you just use your standard retainers. This one also has the steel with aluminum struts. This one features, well, we've got an point T2 on here, uses mm -hmm. that mounting surface, which okay. actually co-witnesses the iron sights. Oh, nice. Both systems allow you to leave the iron sights on. This one's going to co-witness it. We also have a plate so you can just remove these two and these two bolts okay. to get this out of here. And you can put a Picatinny rail one in there so you can mount other optics as well. And then on this one, we took off the butt pad and we actually have a tail hook on here. Okay. This is a pistol. Gotcha. Um, yeah, other than that, it operates exactly the same. So it gives you all kinds of different options to set up your AKM, you know, AK-47, 74 rifle. So. Nice, yeah, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be rocking out my Warser 10, which, so AR-15 is basically like having adult Legos. The, I, I don't know what like modeling kit is similar to the AK, but you're gonna, you're, you're gonna need some sandpaper, a Dremel, it's, it's a little, it's with, not bad. With but. some stuff, I mean, the handguard is no, there's no cutting required for any of that installation. Okay, cool. The only thing you would need for your Warser is the rail on the back of the gun, which gotcha. would just require you to cut off the tang and okay. put a Picatinny rail. Gotcha. Uh, we've talked to a lot of people in the industry while we've been doing this, because we've been working on this for over a year and a half now. And 
the trend seems to be going this way. You know, obviously you're going to have some purists who don't want to do that, but right. if you're looking to set your gun up a more modern setup, that's just one of the modifications. And as far as like required. versatility, new weapons coming out, and, it, and as long as it's a stable platform, I think I threw, I took the the stock folding stock off, and because I was let my sister run it for a while. Yeah. So I threw the only thing available at the time was a Tapco plastic M4 light style. Sure. Yeah. Yep. You know, it definitely needs an upgrade. So. Well, yeah. cool, man. Um, where can we find out more information? Uh, sure. Yep. Absolutely. On our website, MidwestIndustriesInc.com. Gotcha. And you guys have any social medias? Yep. Absolutely. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the, all the big ones like that. So Cool. Thank you cool. so much for your time, man. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Hey, folks, uh, if you like the video, we'd really appreciate a like. It helps with the algorithm. More importantly, we'd like to hear from you. Leave a comment on your thoughts on this thing. And more importantly than that, if you do anything today, do your push-ups. Thanks, folks. Have a wonderful day.